Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here. It's uh, I think around 11 or so on Monday, June. Oh crap, I didn't even look. What's today? 12, 13th. Lost track of days already. Murder Dog and I are uh, currently upstate New York at my buddy Craig's place. Him and his wife were nice enough to uh, let us say we can come up and hang out with them. And they even put us up on the couch last night. They fed us last night. It was great. We had a, bl- I had a blast. You know, just hanging out and talking. Uh, his wife and I got into a very heated argument uh, over the ideas of anarchy, and that was great because um, we walked away, uh, you know, still pleasantly after we were, like at one point because we were I was drinking a little bit, so <laughs> I got a little loud and boisterous, and uh, you know I made sure we were okay afterwards, so that was great. But oh. sorry, truck going by a little noisy. But yeah, we're out here in the country, and. Uh, it's beautiful out here. It's a gorgeous day. Feels like it's about maybe 70 degrees. Don't even see, you know, see some clouds out that way, but lots and lots of blue sky. And we're out here. Well, this is Craig's place, but, you know, we were driving around before and there's uh, tons of farm area. The Amish are up here. I've ran into them a bunch. And uh, Murder Dog and I are hanging out. Hey, Murder Dog, where are you? There she is. And uh, Murder Dog doesn't even have to be alone here because uh, Craig's got two dogs, which Murder Dog actually knows because they came to stay with us. Where's the Kushmeister? Hey, Cushy boy. So Murder Dog has these two friends that uh, came to stay with us. It was last year. Uh... Craig and his family came down to, to came down my way and needed a place to put the dogs for the night, so they came and hung out at our place. So, you know, they knew each other. Mr. Cush here could be kind of difficult sometimes, but, you know, once he realized, oh, wait a minute, I know you, I stayed in your house. They've been fine. And uh, we're just hanging out here for the day right now because, well, Craig and his wife went off to work. And uh, we don't have much to do. It was, it was suggested that I could go over to Cooperstown, uh, Cooperstown because apparently that's pretty close by, and I've actually never been to the Baseball Hall of Fame, even though I'm a lifelong baseball fan. Um, I know in recent years I've, I've I've turned to making you know for a while I was making fun of the sports ball stuff, but I mean I grew up I grew up a Yankee fan. I was introduced to it at a very young age, and uh, I always loved baseball. It was always my favorite sport, and I've actually found myself getting back into it in the past year or so. I haven't watched many games because I still don't have cable service or anything, but I started listening on the radio, and uh, you know. Got kind of excited about some of the, the youngins coming up again. So, you know, Cooperstown's a possibility since I've never been there. But I don't really want to move right now. We went out to the store. We had to drive five miles just to get to the gas station, uh, which, you know, on one hand could be a pain in the butt. But it was actually nice because it was like, oh, civilization is kind of that far away. Um, I could dig it. <laughs> So we had to head down there because, well, unfortunately I needed more cancer sticks because, well, drinking like I was last night, smoked a bunch of them. But we also needed gas and put, needed to put air in the tires because uh, we were putting a, putting a beating on the vehicle, driving with all that extra weight. So I had to do all that. And then we headed back to the house and I figured, it's such a beautiful day. As long as I'm outside, we're good. And if we stay here, Craig's dogs don't have to get stuck in the house like they're usually, you know, like they're usually during the day when the owners are gone, like most dogs, so... I'm giving them the opportunity to hang out for the day, too, so I think we're just going to chill out here for a while, and uh, I'll probably try to get my daily vlog in before they return from work, so I'm not scrambling to do it at the last minute like I did last night, Um, but yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's beautiful out here, I still miss the hell out of my kids, because now it's Monday now, and, you know, we're closing in on that week, so they come back tomorrow, which... Sorry about that. Um, Like I said, it's beautiful out here, but the road they live on is one of those, uh, you know, major ones that uh, people zip through all the time, which there's there's actually no speed limit on most of it, which is great as well. Um, So it gets a little noisy from time to time, but otherwise everything's pretty peaceful out here. But yeah, since the kids come home tomorrow, I'm unfortunately going to have to head back down down south. Um, I'd love to hang out here for more for longer. I've been invited to stay longer, but you know. I miss my kids, and they do come back tomorrow afternoon, so I figure I should probably be there waiting for them. Um, so, yeah. But until then, we're going to be up here enjoying things. 
Heck, I might even convince Craig to do a podcast with me tonight since I have all my equipment with me. But we'll see. That's about it. So, like I said, pretty good day here today. So, we'll take it. Talk to you guys later. Abolitionist Jay out. Peace.